Hello YouTube. This video is going to be like a preliminary setup or hookup wire up for these new blinkers I got. Uh, now these particular blinkers, see, they blink fast, but they're built-in flashers. So you don't have to wire a flasher. But anyway, I've got it preliminary wired up just to figure out the whole wiring. And uh, let me show you. Now here's the switch I bought. Chinese switch. Let me turn that pressure off. It's uh, horn, which are the two white wires on the end of the switch. Now I've got it, uh, where is it? Right there. I've got a green uh, shrink wrap on it just to get them out of the way. Then you have the light. This is the light on off. And that's the two blue wires coming out right there. Two blue wires. I got them wired together. And then you have your uh, slider, your right and left. And what's cool about these blinkers is, see that back side? When that blinker's on, that back side lights up blue and flashes. So it tells you your blinker's on. So you'll know to cancel it. That's the trouble with a lot of blinkers on motorcycles is uh, you turn them on, you forget they're on, and somebody thinks you're going left, and when you turn right, they run you over. So this is really important. They, and, and these blinkers are like on Timu. They cost you like $2.50 a piece or less. I think all four blinkers was $10. Anyway. So this is how, how they're wired up. What I've got here is I've got a little sample. I've got a 9-volt battery with two leads, positive and negative, just for this test. That took me a couple hours to figure out this wiring on this switch. But anyway, let's see if we can focus here. Okay. The ground coming off the battery, I've got it hooked to... Both the blues tied together, and then I've got the ground off the blinker. Okay. Now, on the positive, coming off the battery, I've got it hooked to the red wire off the switch for positive, because you got to power your switch to power your light. If you hook the red straight up to the light, well, it, it blinks, but you've got no control. So then I take my red wire off my light and my blue wire, which controls that back blue light, and I wire them together with the yellow, which is the yellow is the left. The green here is the right turn signal. So when I hit my, hit my switch, I got turn signals. Pretty simple. Pretty simple. It took me a while to figure out this switch. But uh, you can figure it out. Now, these China switches, this switch sells for like $8.65, cheapest I found on Amazon. It goes for like between $8 and $12, this exact switch. Now, you can use any switch you want. But uh, this on Timu was like, I don't know, $3.50. It was cheap. And then I also bought, which I don't need, is this little contraption here. It's a flasher, and it's adjustable. There's a little set screw. You turn it left. I think counterclockwise for fast, and you turn it right for slow. So if you wanted to wire this in to these LEDs, you could slow it, slow the flash down. But I don't care. The, the fast is fine for me. At least it's a blinker. Okay, and uh, I'm not going to wire these up until I get, I got some brackets coming. 
or the rear. Here, let me show you. Here's, here's the light. But I got some brackets where I can mount it about right here. And then when I get when I get them mounted, then I'll wire them all together and hard hard wire them in to my battery here in this thick pad. So then all I have to do oh and then a couple of other things with these lights. Uh, they don't come with a washer, and I recommend you putting a washer on them. And the nut is uh, stair-rated, so it's kind of like a grabber nut. Let's see, kind of having trouble getting this in the viewfinder. Anyway, when you tighten these down, don't over-tighten it. I mean, as you're tightening it, you'll feel it snug up and snug up. Get it good and snug. But don't over tighten it because if you over tighten it, you'll pull this little nipple right out of this light. It's just epoxied in there, a little rubber mount. But if you keep tightening this nut because it doesn't feel like it's tight, you'll pull this thing out and then your, your lights run. But uh, just get it good and snug and, and it'll be fine. It'll stay tight. It won't come loose. It'll be just great. But don't over tighten it. Seen a couple guys on YouTube over tighten theirs and pull this thing right out. Okay. That's about it for this video. It's uh, pretty simple. The positive off the battery goes to the switch positive. The two blues, which is the light control, and your ground off your uh, signal light tie together. And then your blue and your red off your signal light go to your left turn signal, which is the yellow on this. And you got it. And for the right, you'll hook it up to the green. And that's it. Piece of cake. Now, usually on these switches, they I've seen three the same switch come from China with three sets of different wire colors. But you know the red is usually always positive. And then your two wires would either be light, your two colored wires would be light, two colored wires would be horn. So you know that. And then of course, you'll have a red and a yellow, or it might be brown and green, or I, I mean uh, green and yellow for your left and turn, left and right turn, okay. So that's about it. I will talk to you later. And I'll, I'll do another video once I get these, these back lights mounted and run the wire. And I'll solder the connection, use shrink tube, put it in a sheath and all that. But uh, that's it. It's pretty simple. These new lights with the built-in flash are a piece of cake. Make it easy. And if you don't have a built-in battery like this sick pad, because it's got electric start, say you got a uh, rover. Well, my rover's missing the engine right now. Putting together a uh, P79 for it. But uh, all you got to do is uh, buy a little 12-volt battery pack or use a uh, DeWalt or a uh, cordless drill battery. And mount it, zip tie it on there if you have to, and run it through the switch, and you you got signals. These these uh, these signals are fantastic. I'm telling you. Now I had the uh, remote kind like this over here. I'm, I got them on the rover now, and they're okay. They work, but they're a pain in the butt. You got to once a week, once every two weeks, take them off, recharge them, put them back on. And they'll sit there and four or five, six days later, you go to ride and they'll be dead. So anyway, okay, that's about it. I will talk to you later. This video's went a little long. Uh, later.